In 1973, scientists discovered that we have specific receptors in our brain for opiate drugs like heroin and morphine. Since we didn't evolve shooting up, it stood to reason there were natural compounds produced by our bodies that fit into those receptors. So we went looking, discovered them, and named them endogenous morphines, or endorphins for short, and endorphins are good. There are natural pain relievers uh, released during exercise, the consumption of spicy food, and orgasm. So, there are healthier ways to stimulate these receptors than shooting up heroin. In 1990, scientists discovered that we have specific receptors in our brain for the active ingredient in marijuana as well, cannabinoids like THC. Since we didn't evolve toking up, it stood to reason there were natural compounds produced by our bodies that fit into those receptors, so we went looking, discovered them, and named them endocannabinoids, endogenous cannabinoids. And endocannabinoids are good. They're one of our body's ways to ease nausea, ease pain, generally chill us out. The question is, is there a way to get the good without the bad, stimulate these receptors without smoking marijuana? What's so bad about smoking marijuana? Lung cancer. Smoking just a single joint is like smoking an entire pack of cigarettes. The worst death I ever experienced in my medical career, the one that gives me the most nightmares was a lung cancer victim gasping for breath, being drowned by their tumors. It was hideous. Please don't smoke anything. Smoke inhalation is bad no matter what the source. Thankfully, researchers discovered food, food this year that stimulates cannabinoid receptors, so you can get the benefits without the risks. Which food was it? Was it broccoli, coconuts, garlic, green tea, mushrooms, or tomatoes? It was the tea.